Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is uh, from Article 3.1 titled Force and Talks in Magnetic Field from Mr. Fitzgerald's Book of Electrical Machines. And primarily here I'll be solving or discussing example 3.1 and solve practice problem 3.1. So let's uh, see the question example 3.1. A non-magnetic rotor containing a single turn coil is placed in a magnetic field of magnitude B0 as shown in the figure. So this is uh, the um, rotor and it has only one coil. So we'll, we'll see in the next diagram also what does this portion mean. So First of all, these are the north and south uh, magnets. We have the magnetic fields here. And in between, we have uh, a coil, let's see, something like this. This is non-magnetic material and we have only single turn, single coil. And when we combine, it may look like this, that in the magnetic field, we have a um, uh, rotor which has just one coil, one line coil, single turn of a coil. And the coil sides are of radius r, so this is of uh, up to this point, that means from here to up to this point is radius r. And we have to find the theta directed torque. Now this uh, give me a very tough time what does he means by theta directed torque and then later I found out that actually he wants the torque in the perpendicular direction so this is the theta directed torque okay and the parameters are given and assume the rotor length to be L so this portion of the rotor it has length L okay couple of more clarifications uh, the same thing this is the rotor and if you just consider the single coil then this is the coil current entering from the top this this cross means the current is going into the page so the current is going into the page and uh, this dot means the current is coming out of the page so the current is coming out of the page here so you have to keep that point in mind. Also, here we'll be using uh, the left hand rule uh, for finding the force directions. So if you can see from here, the magnetic field from north to south, and in this example, the current is coming out, and now you have to use your right hand. Right hand rule, you, you point your uh, all the four fingers towards the magnetic field that is from north to south and you point your thumb towards the uh, current direction so current coming out the so thumb is in that direction and then the uh, palm itself will give you the force direction so this is very important that you understand this now, before proceeding further, I would recommend strongly that you uh, solve this puzzle. It's courtesy of uh, courses.lumenlearning.com. So, uh, you can see here the current is coming out and this is the direction, uh, sorry, the magnetic field direction is it is coming out of the page and this is the current direction. In this case, this is the magnetic field di uh, direction and this is current. This cross means the magnetic field is going into the page and this is the current. So all these, if you uh, take some time and practice with the help of this uh, to find out, the, you have to find the direction of the magnetic force. And uh, spend some time, find the answer and then you check the answer this is what I have found and checked it so this is uh, what you should get so if you are confident then let's proceed further 
Okay, so now let's come to the solution. Um, this is what we know, given. And now we'll apply the right hand rule. We face uh, the fingers, four fingers, into this direction. And we face our thumb. We you see this point, if you, if you recall, here the current is going into the page, this cross sign. And here the current is coming out of the page. So let's consider this point. So finger, all four fingers are pointing in this direction. Thumb will be pointing towards the outside of the page. And then the palm will show the force. So keeping this in view, uh, if you practice, uh, then you will see that this is the direction of the force. Now a very important point here uh, to note is that if the torque rotates an object clockwise, the torque will be negative torque. So here if you see this force is pulling it here and this force is pulling on the left, that means it is trying to rotate it in the clockwise direction. So our force will be negative. So keep that point in mind. In the next slide we'll be using that. Okay, and now uh, what I want to do is uh, let's see this example. If this, this fulcrum, uh, you know, we are applying a force not perpendicular to this, but it is with some angle. So, in uh, primarily for the torque, we need the perpendicular force. So, we'll resolve this force into two components perpendicular and parallel components. So, this force F has been resolved by the perpendicular component and the parallel component exactly same way we'll resolve this portion here okay so this portion i have now drawn separately this is the force and we have to resolve this into parallel and perpendicular uh, elements so this is the force this is the force this is the parallel element parallel to the radius so parallel to the radius and perpendicular on that on the radius perpendicular we have the f perpendicular or f directed towards theta and now uh, we will derive a, re a relation for this for that uh, what I have done is I have inverted this so I have inverted it like this so this is the force, this is the force parallel, and this is force perpendicular. And um, to make it easy for our understanding, I have further uh, rotated it a little bit. So now we have the base, we have the perpendicular, and we have the hypotenuse. We need to find this. So let's go to the next page. So we need to find a perpendicular. We have the hypotenuse, we have the angle. And we know that the perpendicular over hypotenuse is the sine alpha, this angle alpha, the same angle alpha here. And from here, f perpendicular will be f sine alpha. And now, uh, remember this thing that it, the sine has to be negative because we are rotating it clockwise. And also we know that if the wire and the magnetic fields are perpendicular, then the force is given by this formula B I L. So we'll use uh, these to find F perpendicular. Okay, now he's saying that the wire 1, this is wire 1, is carrying current I into the paper, inside the paper. The theta directed force is given by F1 theta is minus sign because of this then b i l from here and then we put sine alpha so this is the uh, theta directed force one and since they are contributing in the same direction of rotation this is also making it rotate like this and this force was also making it rotate like this and therefore the other force will also be same that is we can say that the wire number 2 which carries current in the opposite direction and is located at 100 degrees 
180 degrees away from wire 1 therefore this force will be called F2 theta and its value will be same and now the torque now torque is force times the distance so this we have added so it becomes 2 minus IB and this is the distance R so we have incorporated that also and then L sin alpha so this is the complete formula for torque and now these parameters are given I given B naught given R given and the length given so plugging in these values in this formula we find the torque to be minus 0 0.006 sine alpha Newton meters so this is uh, uh, how we got to understand what Mr. Fitzgerald has done in just one line or two lines. Okay. Next we go to the practice problem. Exactly same. Repeat example 3.1 for the situation in which the uniform magnetic field points to the right. Now in the first case we are pointing from bottom to up. Now it is pointing to the right instead of a verti vertically upward. So this is how I have drawn it now. Now this rotor remains same. The field is now pointing towards right. Magnetic field. And so we will follow exactly same technique. The uh, right hand rule. And if you have got now practice of the right hand rule. Then you can draw the force. This will be going up. And this will be going down. And here also we will resolve it exactly. Uh, keeping this in mind so parallel component and the um, perpendicular component okay so we were here we'll just cut this portion okay so this now you look this is alpha this is the x-axis this is our force and this is the uh, direction of the wire or the radius same way we will resolve now this force into parallel and perpendicular component so I am first of all I have drawn the parallel component which is parallel to the wire and on this I have drawn the perpendicular line so our circuit becomes like this or the diagram becomes like this and for ease of understanding now what I have done I have taken an angle theta in between so this angle is theta and this is alpha and uh, this is alpha because these two lines are parallel and this line cutting so it was alpha here and therefore it will be alpha here and now we have added an angle theta for the inner angle okay and just cutting this portion to find the perpendicular so we have separated this and just rotate it a little bit to again make it uh, proper uh, uh, for the um, rectangular um, um, angle or the Pythagoras theorem. So from here now we can write that the F perpendicular divided by hypotenuse is sine of this angle theta. And what is theta? If you look at this diagram, this is 90 degree. because it is vertically coming down from here we saw vertically coming down so 90 and theta will be 90 minus alpha so for theta we write 90 minus alpha and so this formula will now be sin 90 minus alpha and sin 90 minus alpha is actually cos alpha and from here f perpendicular is f cos alpha now we were here so the same logic that we had in the previous one only the cos alpha changes so this force and the second force with the negative sign because this is also making it rotate in the clockwise direction and so the torque will now be the sum of the two 
multiply by the radius and putting in the same values we get the answer minus 0 0.006 but here it is now cos alpha newton meter so i hope this gives you an understanding this question puzzled me a lot but i'm very happy that we were able to reach to a conclusion thank you